as we all know. The lion, as the monarch of all beasts, is a very fierce animal. An adult human being who encounters a wild lion is usually very unlikely to survive. Not to mention, a young girl of 12 years old. But a miracle just happened. The story took place in Ethiopia. This day the local police were called to the scene of a 12-year-old girl had been missing for several days. In the past few days, the family searched hard for the girl, but she was still missing. So they had no choice but to call the police. Upon receiving the report, local police immediately launched an investigation. Police went through each place where the girl might be. A large number of police officers were deployed and a lot of resources were spent. They still couldn't find the 12 year old girl. Everyone thought the girl was in distress when everyone was ready to give up the search for the little girl. Someone spotted her. It turned out that the long lost little girl had appeared at a highway exit. Upon being notified, the local police immediately arrived at the scene. But when the police arrived at the scene, there was a surprising scene. They were very surprised to find three lions next to the little girl, and none of them harmed the little girl, but watched over her like knights. Such a scene surprised the police. Although they knew the lions would not harm the little girl, no one dared to approach. The police were just watching silently from a distance, waiting for an opportunity to act. A long time had passed. The lions were only silent and stayed by the girl's side. They did not do anything to harm the girl. The police decided to try to approach the little girl. The lions seemed to sense the intentions of the police and know that the police would not harm the little girl. They did not attack the police, but slowly moved away from the child, turned towards the depths of the grassland along the highway. After seeing the girl be safely taken away by the police, they disappeared into the grassland. Then, through the girl's statement, the police learned the whole story. That day the girl was playing alone. Then she was forcibly taken away by some criminals. They took the girl into the field and locked her up. They beat the girl. The girl was very scared. She kept shouting for help. Perhaps the girl's helplessness inspired the beast's desire to protect. The girl's cries draw three lions. They let out a threatening roar, scaring the thugs away. After the thugs were scared away, the girl was left alone when she thought she was going to be eaten by these lions. The lions did not harm her, but watched over her in silence, and they helped her out of the grassland at the motorway exit. They did not leave until they saw the girl safely taken away by the police. Then, with the girl's identification, the police were able to apprehend the kidnappers in a very short time, prevented more children from being persecuted by them. Because of the lion's rescue, the girl grew up healthy and happy, but she never forgot the lions. She always remembers those three big fluffy guys. She keeps looking for the three lions. She believes that one day she will meet them again. When the time comes, she will repay the kindness that they saved her life. We must always believe that goodness will have a good reward, even among humans and animals. Another story set in Korea. An elderly woman, 
adopted a homeless stray dog. A few years ago, she named it Baker. Baker was very well behaved. This elderly woman had Alzheimer's. The dog seemed to sense that the old woman needs protection. So Baker followed the old woman every day. It was a constant protector of her every day. On this day, the police in Hongseam County, South Korea, received a report. This 90-year-old woman with dementia had gone missing. The local police launched an investigation immediately. After receiving the report from the old lady's daughter, police reviewed all the CCTV footage from the farm near the old lady's home. They saw her leaving the village with a small white dog. They used surveillance to trace the movement of the old lady. As it was raining heavily that day, the search dogs were unable to determine the movement of the old lady based on her scent. So the police had also recruited a group of volunteers to help with the search. Through the tireless efforts of everyone, finally, after about 40 hours, the police found the old woman in a rice field about two kilometers from her home. The rice fields were very lush. It was hard to find her after she fainted. The old woman couldn't move freely, and the area where she collapsed was very wet. The old man was soaked to the skin and couldn't stand up on her own. Police said afterwards that if Baker hadn't been by the old woman's side, she might not have survived in such terrible conditions. It was a cold and rainy day. The old lady had a low immune system. Her body temperature dropped very quickly. It was Baker who put its body against her face to keep her warm so that her body temperature didn't drop too much. That was how the old woman managed to hold on until the police came to her aid. The old woman's daughter said in an interview that the old woman was always very kind to Baker. She treated it like her own child, always gave it lots of good food. Baker was also very fond of the old woman. The family was very grateful to Baker for saving the life of the old woman. Baker's story had been reported and had warmed and touched many people. Yes. In fact, animals are just like humans. They also know how to be grateful. They also have deep love and know how to give back.